Oh, look, it's, it was a tough game of football. Like it happens with good football inside, more good football inside. Nothing really in it in the first half. Um, you knew it was going to come down to a mistake or a chance that someone took. Fortunately, our keeper spilled the ball. Toby McKernan put the ball in the back of the net and they pushed up after that and it left us loads of space at the back and we could have gone on a 1-4 or 5 nil, to be honest. Um, and it's 3 nil probably isn't a fair reflection on, on, the, on the game. It was tighter than that, just they had the push and we had the space behind them. That's where the game was won, I suppose. It just comes down to someone spinning the ball and someone putting it back in the net. It's football simple, but it's just the way it works sometimes. Yeah, we knew we were going to be up against it. Um, we lost two players to NG during the week there. Um, two of our more powerful physical players. Well, it was our big loss. Um, so we, tried, we just tried to keep things tight for the first half. Um, the game that, that was they were we were well enough in the game up until half time. Um, the, the goal obviously goals change games and the goal they got early in the second half and we had to throw a couple of men more forward to try and get them back into the game again and they, they caught us twice in the break after that. So um, look, the the better team won on the day. They were they were they were better throughout the game. So. Can't really say too much about it. Yeah, they, they had a man on him and he, he, he tied him up in knots. He pushed him around the place and we knew we had to take him away from him. We had A on the bench and A is full of pace. We moved favour out wide and it, it might have disrupted them a bit more. A good start, spread the ball around, got the ball in the box and, like I said, Toby put the ball in the back of the net. And we, we played well, we played well in, in, in fits and starts. Um, they made a very tough, tough, tough physical side and they do like to play football, you can see there. We Lucy Cannon at the back there, a fabulous footballer for, for Gerard to compete at this at this age is, is fantastic. Um, my own Nassie Bonnies and Golds and she's as steady as a rock. You can go through the whole team there with the Shamrocks and there's some fantastic footballers in it. Yeah, we've, we we met them on the final last year down, down in Cavan, the Betas 2-1 was a, a tight game as well. Um, so we knew we knew what we were going to be coming up against and we did a bit of work on on marking some of their better players, the boys more dangerous men. That, and that was working, um, but as I say, we gave away the goal early in the second half, and we had a we had a kind of come out come out of our shell a wee bit, trying to get back into the game again. And they uh, they caught us twice on the break. So look, that's uh, disappointing. We we had a tough season. Um, we were most of the team we played throughout the season were all under 14 next year again. So uh, look. We'll, we'll go at it again next year. We'll go at it again next year again. Yeah, yeah surprising enough. Yeah, yeah. Back to back culture title is great. Look, we, we won it last year. We weren't expecting to win it. This year we came up here hoping to win it. We, we know how good we are. We know we can play football. And we won it again. We won it 3 0. Like I say, we had chances there towards the end. There. We could have, could have been more. But no, delighted to win. Lagan like Halfs were a good team. They've beaten good teams to get here. We've beaten good teams to get here. And it's fantastic now to go on to the round of 32. We kind of felt like we should have gone forward last year and now we have a chance to go forward again this year. So it's, it's great from a club point of view and great from the kids because there's fantastic footballs in that, in that team. It is very much so. Um, it's a great experience for the boys to get playing against different teams. Um, even and within Donegal, playing teams from different leagues and one thing and another. And then, like I used to say, like we've, that's twice we played Cavan now the last two years. So it's, it's a good experience for the boys to get playing different different outfits, you know, from, from different parts of the country as well. So, um, look, we just, I'd like to wish Cavan all the best in the next round. And hopefully they, they go on as far as they can in the competition. And the best of luck to them.